get ready for the dictation dictation will start in 5 seconds start sir this will was introduced in the house by the then labor minister shri k v ragunath reddy i was also present at that time in the house after a period of 9 long years this will has now come from the cold storage it shows that how powerful the plantation lobby in the country is even though after so much of time this will has now been brought i support this will in the name of a more comprehensive measure i do not agree that the this will should be postponed or that it should be again referred to a joint committee some such proposal was there i do not agree to that though it is not adequate and some improvement from the point of view of workers is needed i do not agree that we should postpone passing it for example it has been suggested that the acreage limit should be brought down to 5 hectares to cover more plantations in the south especially in kerala karnataka and other southern states many plantations are not covered by this will i would request the minister to carefully examine this thing in north india and some other places tea plantation is on a large scale but in the case of rubber cardamom and coffee it is 5 hectares this is on the high side i request the honorable minister to reduce the acreage limit to 2 and 1/2 hectares for coffee and rubber and cardamom our friend was talking about socialism socialistic society democratic socialism and so many other things i earnestly request him to consider my suggestion and that is whether the government is prepared to nationalize the tea industry sir some 8 years ago in the kerala assembly all the parties including congress party and animously recommended to the central government for the take over of the tea industry in kerala tea plantation is owned by british monopolies even in the assam assembly all the parties and animously passed a resolution suggesting take over of this industry are you prepared to take over this industry especially this tea industry i pose this question to the central government sir this tea industry is owned by foreign monopolies and they are exploiting the workers the situation in the tea industry is deteriorating are you prepared to nationalize it when you talk of socialism unless this is nationalized you cannot meet the demands of the workers sir how unfortunate for this country predominantly agricultural that the meaning of plantations in this will has been stretched to include coconut gardens apple pineapple cashew nut and banana plantation farms i am glad that wisdom has dawned on the government not to accept these recommendations of the committee if i were an anarchist or a member who wished ill of this government i would have pleaded with the government to stretch the meaning of plantations to cover all agricultural lands in the country and attract the provisions of this will then we could have seen the beginning of convulsions and revolutions in this country as the debt ridden farmers being unable to fulfill the provisions of this will would have started filling up jails for violations of its provisions 
सर आई वुड टेक दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू अपील टू द प्राइम मिनिस्टर टू ट्रीट एग्रीकल्चर एज एन इंडस्ट्री एंड ट्रीट एग्रीकल्चर लाइक द अर्बन सिटीजन्स एंड ट्रीट द फार्म होल्डिंग्स इन द सेम वे एज दे ट्रीट द फैक्ट्रीज एंड इंडस्ट्रीज द गवर्नमेंट शुड स्टार्ट फाइंडिंग आउट द इंडिविजुअल्स एंड डिस्क्रिमिनेटरी laws passed in the country since independence adversely affecting the farming community and review those laws if they want to ensure integrated development in the country mr vice chairman sir you know the undivided congress the indian national congress fought for plantation labor and also for the rights and privileges of the peasantry it was sardar vallabh bhai patel and mahatma gandhi in the chori chora movement who brought the peasantry to the forefront to the leadership of the indian national congress as successors of those great leaders in that organization it is high time the congress did their best for the plantation labor as well as the unorganized peasantry in that area even in mexico in algeria in russia or in cuba or in other countries it was the labor the plantation labor who took the revolution to its final goal here in this country we do not want to see another blood bath we do not want to see that they take up arms against government or against employers as pupils representatives and as government of the people we must do our best to solve their problems whatever their grievances are whatever their difficulties are instead of allowing anybody to take advantage of their poverty and their difficulties i know what goes on with plantation labor i can give instances of different plantations i come from west bengal where tea plantation is a very big factor and i know how plantation labor are still being exploited housing facility near the plantations is a must for them under the act stop